three kitchen gadgets you need in your kitchen right now. <laughs> you like doing that? Huh? <laughs> I was trying to make it a reveal. All right. Do you want to do the reveal? Go ahead. Oh, I do it? Mm-hmm. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Janae. And I'm Evan. And, and together, together we, we are Janae. So today. What are we doing today? Today we are going to review some of our favorite kitchen gadgets that we have purchased within the past year um, that we kind of use on a day-to-day -day basis. Top just... three kitchen gadgets you need in your kitchen right now. What she said. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna just showcase what we got um, and how they work, and we're gonna show you some footage of them in action. Uh, I think we have four things right now, which made three us three things plus a bonus item. Yeah, yeah, three things plus a bonus item, which made us realize we need more things. Yeah. Um, because there are never too many gadgets that we can have. I need a bigger kitchen too. That's it. I mean, this is upgrade from our last place. But now I can see how we could upgrade this place. <laughs> <laughs> we must blossom and bloom into yeah. a bigger place. All right, so let's start with the first one. Um, I guess since it's already out here, uh, we'll start with the egg maker. Yes. All right. First. So I guess I'll unplug it first. So the first thing is this uh, hard-boiled. Actually, not even hard, just hard boiled, but it's an egg maker. Yeah. And it's an egg timer. So basically, you fill this reservoir with water. Um, and if you want to grab the cup. Based on this, and it has a measurement for if you want them hard, medium, or soft. I don't know if you can even see that, but you fill up to the water line and then put it in here. Mm -hmm. And then you can cook as many eggs as you want. There's up to seven slots, I think. Yep, seven slots. You and put this on here. You just press this down and let it go, and the timer will go off and it'll stop cooking. But you also have to remember, it comes with a detachable bottom. I took it off already. I took it off already. <laughs> Sorry, that's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> it is dangerous. There's a needle in there. So it has a detachable bottom, and it has a little uh, needle in here so you can poke the bottom of your egg. Let's see. There you go. To create a hole to let air escape so it doesn't burst it. I'm pretty sure that's what it's for. Yeah, I think so. And then it makes the perfect hard boiled egg. Mm hmm. So we like ours hard boiled. At least yeah. I like mine like really hard boiled. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we were just going to show off like how well it does. So. Wash off the excess and some cold water. Now you gotta take a bite out of it. I'm just gonna cut it in <laughs> half. <laughs> So yeah. Okay. And then the other cool thing. Which we haven't even used it for, but it also has two other functions. One is it can make an omelet. Yeah, and this and tray. Then, and in that then tray. poached eggs in here. Yeah, poached or fried eggs in here. Yeah. So we still haven't even tried like all of the features that this thing has. But, but it's super convenient to like throw on in the morning to have a quick egg before we leave work. or like throw it on my salad mm -hmm. in the evening. And then it has a fun little jingle um, when the yeah. egg is ready that's <laughs> not too obnoxious. Mm -hmm.
So yeah, that's that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and where can they find this wonderful item? All the items that we're going to showcase today, we're going to leave a link down below. Most of them we got on Amazon. Yeah, that um, one we got on Amazon, but they also sell it at Bed Bath & Beyond. I saw it there one time. It was like 20 bucks. It's a steal. Alright, item number two. Alright, item number two. So item number two is this fun contraption. And basically what it is, is a fry cutter. Um, so one day we were making, I think a Hello Fresh meal, mm -hmm. and it called for sweet potato fries, and they wanted us to just, you know, chop them up in like diagonals or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, that's kind of boring. Like I want to actually make like the fry shape. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like wedges that they had. It was right? yeah, wedges. So um, I think I looked on Amazon. We might have found this in a store. We might have actually in, in Bed, Bed Bath and Beyond. Beyond. Jinx, buy me a coat. Oh snap, man, we're still saying the same thing. This is amazing. Carrots, pumpernickel, glow stick, twins. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I saw this and I was like, I gotta get this, we gotta try this. It looks like a guillotine. It is basically a guillotine. So essentially, um, you might have to chop it up. Um, we used sweet potatoes and potatoes for this. You chop it up, you place it in this section right here and you pull down and it slices it through the blades here. And they come with two different sizes. We have the thick cut one, but this one also comes with thin fries. And so this is the blade section, they're swappable. And this is the pusher. And then it basically goes into here when it's all done. The only problem, there's, there's one problem with this. Oh, what's the problem? The one problem with this is like, you need strength or you need your potato to be a little bit softer. Mm -hmm. um, like run it under some hot water, maybe like, I don't know, cook it a little bit in the microwave, something because and I it's tried it, strength. it literally like, you really have to push down on this sometimes. Um, but it's- But it's impossible to cut yourself, eh? It really is. Like <laughs> you basically, yeah, you just push it in and then you close it down. Your fingers are away from the blade. So correction, dish machine can in fact cut you. <laughs> but on the sides. Only on the sides. So it's really fun to have, especially if you like to make fries. Um, and you can do it with sweet potatoes. We, we should try it. You can probably do it with like cucumbers or yeah. like make a veggie fry or yeah. something. Veggie sticks for like dipping in ranch and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Carrots, mm -hmm. even though carrots are already stick shaped. Maybe, yeah. maybe you can make them in thinner sticks, yeah. Okay. So we'll leave the link to that one below because honestly I don't remember how much that one was. I think it was like 13. 13? That was my guess. Alright, we'll see how close you are. <laughs> but that's a fun one. That's number two. Okay. Number three. Um, number three. All right, so number three, we're gonna have to bring you guys over to show you the rest of it. It is an electric kettle. So back at our old place, we had, you know, the classic tea kettle. Mm -hmm. You put it on the stove and it starts screaming at you when it's ready. <laughs> um, this one is really cool because not only is it an electric kettle, it shows you like how much water you can put in, how many liters. It opens up, um, you fill it to the minimum line, you close it, and then it has a power key here. So let's take you on over. Are you gonna do the whole process? Um, I can. Okay, yeah. All right, let's do the whole process. So we're gonna open it, fill it to our minimum line. It's like half a liter. Mm. <laughs> Close it. And then it comes with this little pedestal here. Um, 
I believe it rotates. Something rotates on it. Yeah. Yeah, that rotates. So you put it on there and then you press the power key, lights up blue. And now it's heating the water. And once it's done heating, it'll turn off and that's it. There's no obnoxious uh, whistling noise or anything like that. And it stays, stays hot for a while. Yeah. And the handle is always cool to the touch. Long. It doesn't at all. So let's go back over and I'll show them the other part. Okay. So the other part of this is this uh, tea filter. So, or tea steeper, I guess. Mm -hmm. So essentially you can put a tea bag in here or like us, we have, where is it? Here it is. We actually have tea that is just like grounded. the grounded tea. So you can put that in here. And it's just an additional piece that came with the kettle. So you can make tea without like infused into the water. Yeah, so you can make That's a whole okay. thing of tea. Um, and make it hot. So yeah, so you just put this in, put the tea in, do the same process and the water is heating up right now and when it's done you have a nice full kettle of tea. Yeah. So I thought that was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, I use this a few times. It works wonderfully. Yeah. And so after about three minutes or so, it's done. Mm -hmm. All right, and so the only problem I have with that is cleaning it out is sometimes a pain because mm -hmm. you can't really take the top off. I, not that I know of, so I usually open up the lid and kind of have to like slip a paper towel inside and clean around it so mm -hmm. the condensation doesn't stick. But other than that, it's really useful and it mm -hmm. saves a lot of time and I don't have to hear that stupid whistle from the yeah, just hear the light go off. Mm -hmm. um, and that baby we got from Walmart. I don't remember how much it was. I'm going to say like 30. Yeah, I think so. I think it was some, somewhere around 30. Yeah, it was good. Good deal. Yeah. And so our bonus item, mm -hmm. we just got this uh, because I wanted to try and make it because we go to this place um, where they make rice balls, onigiri. Rice ball. Snowball. Snowball rice ball. Yeah. And they also sell taiyaki, which mm -hmm. if you don't know, is a fish shaped dessert that is like a, um, a pancake type of thing with filling inside. And mm -hmm. Janae loves the sweet potato. And I like the red bean paste filling. And so I looked up how to make it and the batter is real simple. Although we haven't gotten it, we haven't quite, quite, gotten it right to <laughs> quite the same, it, yeah. um, but we've been experimenting. And we bought red bean paste and some sweet potato filling to try our best to get it the same. But this is a taiyaki pan. Mm -hmm. And it was like $14 on Amazon, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but it's essentially just a nonstick pan, two-sided, <laughs> in the shape of a fish. You pour your batter in, you put your filling in, you close it, and then you heat up both sides and you've got yourself a nice little treat. <laughs> um, it is some trial and error. It takes a little bit to get used to. There are a bunch of recipes online where you can find out um, how to make this. But I don't know. I thought this was a fun little gadget. Yeah, it's been fun. Mm -hmm. Look, coming soon, Evan's taiyaki business. Yeah. You'll have to be selling them on the street. I know, right? <laughs> make a quick buck. Yeah. Um, as soon as we get the recipe right. So. All right, cool. Yeah, that's a, that was a quick little video. Um, we're hopefully going to have shown you guys everything in action. Um, we already showed you the egg maker, um, the tea kettle. We're going to try and show you guys this in action and the potato fry cutter. Uh -huh. Got to go get some potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go to the store anyway, so that's good. Um, but yeah. All right, thanks so much for watching. Let us know if you like this type of content. Um, we have some other ideas like showing you what we bought this week type of thing. Yeah, seeing new things that we bought. Yeah. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for gadgets, not just in the kitchen, but for at home, uh, let us know. 
All right. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that bell notification button so that you can be notified whenever we release new videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.